you remember the future? You first experienced it when you were younger. Much younger. It came to life in experiences imagined. Experiences created to entertain and foreshadow what will be. You saw universal communications driven by pure imagination. Hello, Stefan. Good morning. We need us here. Good morning, Stefan. How are you? I'm well, Christian. Did you receive my proposal? Here geht es gut. Haben Sie meinen Vorschlag erhalten? A world in which we pushed ourselves to fantastic new limits of exploration. Advanced devices that gave us the power to see clearer and heal faster. Robots created to help us reach farther and stay safer. And you saw vehicles that drove humans rather than the other way around. younger. These visions awed and inspired you. Today, through the power of deep learning, they talk to you. That would be good. And heal you. And move you. Do you remember the future? Look around you. It's here. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome NVIDIA co-founder and CEO, Jensen Huang. Good morning, welcome to GTC 2015. Welcome to Silicon Valley. GTC is about developers. GTC is where we share what we've learned, we share ideas, we're inspired by each other's. I'm to talk to you guys about this year. We have a great show for you. GTC is about you. Let's get started. GPU. <laughs> the most advanced GPU architecture ever created. This is all based on Maxwell. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the Titan X. Now let's take a look at what Titan X can do. This is work that we're about to show you that was done by a company called Epic. Epic is a long-term partner of ours. They're a game engine company. They are the game engine you choose if you're developing a AAA title. Now the, the animation you're about to see is completely in real time and is running on one Titan X. Everything you're about to see is real time running on one Titan X. It captures a hundred square miles of 3D graphics. Literally a hundred square miles of 3D graphics. Basically the entire Silicon Valley. You're not going to see Silicon Valley, you're going to see something a little bit more beautiful. 100 square miles, 15 million plants. You're going to see 15 million plants. This entire terrain was photometrically scanned because no, it's, it's impossible for artists to have captured landscape that beautiful, that great. Any given frame is 20 to 30 million polygons. Everything is in HDR. The camera effects are beautiful. You're going to see physically based rendering. The rocks look like rocks. Water looks like water. The shadows are beautiful. You might even notice some rim lighting on, off the shoulders. This animation, this rendering, real-time graphics, 
is the most beautiful that's, that I've ever seen. And this is just incredible work by the team at Epic. I love their work, and they've just outdone themselves yet again. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at it. This year, let me tell you about Pascal. Pascal, of course, a mathemat French mathematician, has three very important enabling technologies. It's based on our next generation G GPU architecture, and then number three, this great technology we talked to you about last year called NVLink. The ability to connect multiple GPUs at literally, well, let me just not let that out of the bag, very high speeds, connecting, connecting GPUs uh, with each other. Because it's so important now for us to scale the number of GPUs. I just showed you that DevBox has four. <coughs> People are asking us for 64. The difference between four and 64 is a very big difference. And so a lot of that has to do with interconnect speed. First, just architecturally, without those three features, without those three features, Pascal is twice the floating point performance per unit energy. Big deal already, fantastic. Second, it has 2.7 times the memory capacity, so it's 32 gigabytes instead of 12. Third, it has four times the mixed precision performance. A lot of the computation that is done in the convolution neural nets can be done in lower precisions. FP16 would be pretty fantastic. And so a lot of people are are uh, quite excited about this. All of a sudden you get a turbo charge in <coughs> computational throughput of the convolution layers. And so having four times the, the computational <coughs> throughput is all, all good. However, unless you dramatically improve, improve memory bandwidth, um, all of that could be lost as a result of and also off. The last few layers could now swarm the com com computational time of the whole, whole uh, network. And so Pascal has three times the memory bandwidth. 2.7 times more capacity, three times the memory bandwidth. Now, the question can't even, but I, I'm hoping that it could, it could explain why I'm so excited about Pascal. First of all, the forward path. The forward path is the first path or the inference path. This is forward, you do the convolution layers, and then you do the fully connected layers, and then it generates a result. You, if it's a training run, then you compare that result with the right answer, and you compute the delta, the error term, and you back propagate it, and you do stochastic gradient descent, and then you try it again. Okay? 
okay? So the forward path, and we're talking about learning right now, the forward path benefits 4x from the convolution layers, right? 4x, 2x from just the architecture itself, and then 2x from the mixed precision in FP16, so that's 4x. And then when it hits the fully connected layers, it's three times the bandwidth, but we also have hype, we also have FP16 now, which doubles the bandwidth. So it gives you 6x. And then now when you're working backwards, you get back propagation now, uh, and it's 6x because of the bandwidth, and then 4x because of the convolution. Well, you know, it's kind of hard to exactly to say exactly where, um, how many convolution layers and, and as, as opposed to how many fully connected layers and so on and so forth. And so I just kind of roughly said 5x. It's 5x faster as a result of several things. Mixed precision, mixed precision, well, the Pascal architecture itself, mixed precision, and the benefits of 3D memory that is not just wide, but also very, very large. So that we can keep a large network in one compute node.